Hello guys, this is Boris from Medialogs and I want to introduce you our Medialogs Direct Take application. Uh, we've created it inspired by Blackmagic Media Express. Uh, the problem with Media Express was that it didn't allow us to use multiple devices at the same time. So we've created our own based on a platform. And here it goes. Uh, generally this application works in two modes. It's a capture and the playback. Uh, right now I've just started this application and it automatically initializes and starts the first available device. For me it's Blackmagic Ultra Studio Pro. Um, it shows me no video signal over here because the device was not configured properly yet. So let's do it. Double click over here on a tab header to open the device configuration form and over here we can uh, see the file name, the input line, the format let's choose the proper ones and the same for the audio let's press OK to apply the changes here it goes, now we receive the stream um, to start the capture into file, we need to choose the file format. We have a bunch of file formats. Choose the video codec. Um, it's specific for each format. Choose audio codec and choose the destination. Let it be my test app one. Okay, the file name is currently specified. Uh, so we can start capturing by pressing this button. Here it goes, the capturing is now working. You can see the statistics over here. We can pause the capturing, continue it, stop it, uh, switch to second file, start it again. Um, okay, another, another cool capturing feature is this maximal duration. When you capture stream 24 plus 7, you need to split the file at some point so we can put this flag on and specify the duration in seconds uh, for example let it be 5 seconds uh, let's change the file name and start capturing again okay now when the file is reached the 5 seconds point uh, it will be automatically split uh, to the next chunk you see over here, right here we can see the captured files list so here is the first file and this one were split it automatically uh, the split is uh, being created frame accurately so you may be sure that uh, none of your frames are lost uh, you can right click over here in this list and show your captured files in the Windows Explorer Okay, so basically that's how the capturing mode is working. Let's stop it and get to the playback mode. When we press this tab, the device is automatically closed and uh, uh, initialized into the playback mode. Right now, uh, this background, these bars are being sent to the device. So now the device is working in the output mode. Uh, we can change the background if we need. It can be just a color or transparent media files, a playlist or even live. So we can choose any background we need. And change the output format over here. Uh, we can set any format that we like and all input files, live sources and all other stuff will be converted to the output format and the same for the audio format okay uh, this is the playlist that is being sent to the device right now it's empty let's add some files to it uh, it can be just a single files can be the live source uh, let's choose my notebook camera okay here it goes um, this button as the URL. It can be a network stream or a YouTube URL. Our YouTube parser allows to insert the YouTube URLs here. Um, 
these buttons at the playlist so we can choose several files and they will be added as a sub playlist inside the main playlist here it is this button saves the whole playlist and this one loads it okay here is our playlist we can configure it more precisely by pressing this button for each playlist item we can configure it for the file we can change the file name specify input and output points uh, change some specific properties uh, for the live source we can configure it uh, change any parameter that we want and we can also specify the input and output points for it for example set it to 10 seconds uh, by the pressing of this button we can open the sub playlist configuration form to see the all items in inside the sub playlist uh, we can configure each of them and add another files like sources or URLs here uh, so here is our playlist we can start the playback uh, by pressing this button okay here it goes now our playlist is being sent to the Ultra Studio Pro um, over here we can change the playback mode just like in any other player or just double click on any item in the playlist to switch to it uh, so that's it that's how our playback mode works um, let's talk about uh, additional tabs over here it's uh, some more cool features that we've decided to add to our direct take application the first step is miscellaneous over here we can adjust the brightness the contrast and colors and all that stuff well looks creepy so let's set it to defaults back and enable the CG the CG is a character generator um, it allows to uh, overlay text and graphics uh, over your stream it can be the logo the news sticker the description of your clip the composition or anything else you like uh, this button shows the CG editor. The CG, CG editor is pretty complex, so I will not waste time describing it right now. I'll create a separate uh, video for it, so I will skip it now. Uh, so that's the miscellaneous tab. Another tab is a title display. Uh, title display is a feature that's available in playback mode only. Oh, I forgot to mention that miscellaneous is available in playback and capture mode both in both of them uh, so the title display is available in playback mode only uh, what is title display title display is something like uh, description and the command of each playlist item that you can set and that will be displayed using our character generator it's something like that you see on the MTV or uh, any other music channel when the clips are shown one by one uh, you can see the description and uh, the artist in the bottom of the screen for each clip so that's uh, our title display works something like that let's enable it uh, let's pause the playlist switch back to title display and specify the uh, title uh, for the first clip and the comment for the first clip switch to the second one write some title here some comment here and the same we can do for any playlist item let's start the playback of first item and right here you can see the description of currently played item and the next item on the top of description uh, the clips are 
uh, very short so right now it, uh, dis it disappears very fast uh, if it's not acceptable uh, you can adjust the input and the output time uh, on this uh, up down numerics so that's it that's how our title display works um, this is my first Ultra Studio Pro device and uh, if we need to add uh, another device to our application all we need is press the plus button over here uh, we can see the device selection form just like we saw on the adding a live source to the playlist. Let's choose the second device to work with. Let it be my web camera too. Here it goes. Oops. Let's disable the audio preview to prevent the echo. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter that uh, this my web camera is currently used in this playlist. Uh, our device sharing feature allows us to use any number of times in any number of applications so here is my second device to work with the first one is being played without interruption so uh, I can do whatever these two tabs are totally independent uh, this is a web camera so it the stream cannot be sent to it so it works only in capture mode but in this mode it's uh, uh, it works just like the ultra studio pro so we can uh, specify the file name set the duration for example to seven and start capturing so now it works totally independent from this tab this device is captured into its own file and this device is being played out switch to it to capture mode 2 uh, change the file name and start the capturing and both of them are working totally independent uh, and this is uh, equal to any number of devices that your machine ha can handle so you can press this plus button any t any number of times to add any number of tabs and to work with any number of devices at the same time. So this is our uh, MediaLux Direct Take application. Uh, I hope you will enjoy it. So try it and let us know what you think about it. We will be glad to hear back from you guys to get any feedback, uh, any of your thoughts that you would like to tell us. So that's it. Goodbye and enjoy our MediaLux Direct Take.